Welcome to the Mayor's Show. Today we have a very informative show. It's very important for the high school kids. The seniors in school have an opportunity to go for my scholarship fund, which is uh, starting now. The applications will be going out. And I have Dawn here, Dawn Davis, with me today. Who's, uh, Hello. One of, she works on this scholarship with us here. And I'll explain to you how that works. Two people from the community are the ones that pick, one from my family, one from my parish priest, and one from the superintendent of schools. They're the ones that go through uh, and pick the winners. I don't. I have nothing to do with that. We just fund it. So it's, it's a great opportunity for seniors. It's a $2,000 award, and there's uh, seven of them. So uh, it's a great opportunity to help out. It's, I know today it's not a lot of money when you're going to school, but my goodness gracious, uh, you know, it helps maybe buy books or something like that. Sure. And I've been doing it for many, many years. How many years I've been doing this now? Well, Mayor, this the scholarship foundation was, was it commenced in 2003, so uh, 21, 21 years. years. Very good. And I know I, 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 I you could have got one of my. I did go yeah. to school, and uh, it's just everything's out. I mean, I know the mayor said it's going out, but they. they the high schools have received these applications, the, the guidance counselors, and they have gone to various high schools in Bucks County well, like, because you have to be a Ben Salem ben resident. Ben Salem resident. And, and several Ben Salem seniors go, go to over. different schools. Yeah. But so. if you're a resident, you, you can apply. It doesn't matter where you go to high school, but right. you must live in Ben Salem. Right, and those high schools, just as a reminder, are, of course, Ben Salem, our charter or Charter High School, School Lane Charter, Archbishop Brian Nazareth, Archbishop Wood, Villa, as well as Conwell Egan, my alma mater. So all those high schools and their guidance counselors have them, people have been calling, and they're out. So, but here's, here's the thing, it's really important. It's a simple application, financials have to be attached, People get worried that their financials are going to be shared, and that is couldn't be further from the truth. We destroy everything after the review board has selected the winners. Um, so and the other important element of this application is your essay. Some, some applications come in without the essay. They will not even be considered, and we won't call you either. The, the instructions are very specific, and... You know, we want you to submit a complete application so that we can review it appropriately. By when? By what's By the, April 26th. April 26th, you have to add that in. And that's a deadline, seriously. And uh, we get a lot of applications, but it's a great opportunity. Again, been doing this for 21 years, and uh, it's been really, really a good uh, good thing for me. I get great satisfaction of it. We uh, take all the, the winners of the essay, we take them to breakfast, and uh, we talk about it with their parents, their gar guardians, whoever. And uh, we have a great time there also. So it's a great opportunity. I uh, look forward to seeing everybody there, uh, the winners. So it's seven, like I said. So, Tony, what are we going to Well, uh, you, you have to get them in by the deadline. And, and typically what happens is people wait to the last minute. They're procrastinators. I know we live in a busy world. It's a busy life. And I get it. But... You need to get these in in, in an appropriate time because sometimes we'll get hit with 60, 75, 100 applications on the last day. And it's not that we're not going to look at them, but we would appreciate if they came in, you know, in a decent amount of time so that we can pr provide the time to and, look at them. And, and seriously, it, it's a lot of work. I mean, everybody, <laughs> you know, they, they have to go through all that. And we're very serious about this. I mean, it's uh, the best, best ones win. So that's, and it takes time. And the candidate pool is always so fascinating. It's tough. It's tough to pick a win, pick these seven winners because everyone is very comparable to each other yeah. with their goals yes. and how they want to serve the community, what they want to do in life, their vocation, their career. It's actually, it's actually fun to do, even though it's a little laborious at times. Well, it's great experience for the kids too, going into, going into college. You're going to be doing a lot of this in college so it again it's a good opportunity we look forward to as many people that come in as many uh, seniors uh, the more the better it makes it tougher on this five people to pick the winners and uh, we look forward to everybody taking place on that we have a few other announcements uh, we do. The one I know the amphitheater we can talk about uh, 
why don't you tell them about the amphitheater? Sure. Well, as most of you know, I don't do it anymore. I miss it. I'll never not be a part of it in some way. But I'll tell you, the, the group of individuals that have taken over are doing a fantastic job. The talent that's selected is amenable to all genres, all people, and you couldn't get a better deal for entertainment on a Wednesday night. First concerts May 29th, last through September. Season passes are selling like hotcakes. It's so encouraging to see the people come in. They're so excited. If you don't live in Ben Salem, it's $60. That's $5 a concert. $45 if you live in Ben Salem, that's $4 a concert. And you can't beat this. this the talent is phenomenal. We're getting two and 3,000 people here on a Wednesday night with food trucks and things for the kids. It's just a wonderful amenity for Ben Salem residents and beyond. But we encourage you to come in, buy your season pass. If you don't have a season pass, it's going to cost you $10 the, for the concert that particular evening. So why not save yourself some money, come into the township building, talk to Katie, get your season pass, and away you go. I got two questions. Mm -hmm. uh, one is hotcakes. How do they sell? I'm not sure I Quickly. Understand. Quickly? Hot they cakes sell quickly. Uh, I have never seen them advertised. <laughs> Uh, All right, pancake, cake. hot cakes. Uh, oh, pancakes or uh, hot cakes? My mom always called them hot cakes, so okay. that's how I, okay. I have that term. Okay. Okay, what, what you got? What, what else you got? <laughs> so we're going to try to do these little updates. We're going to try. We, we get crazy here. But if you have an idea for a show, I mean, you want to know how something works within the township, even if it's something very simplistic, send your ideas to this email, mayors office at bensalempa.gov. We will take everything under consideration, take it under advisement, and then you just might see something that you are very interested in in this studio. So we yeah, encourage you really, to do that. Really. It, uh, it's an opportunity to get the word out to everybody, ideas. Hey, I learn more by listening than I do ever by speaking. So <laughs> I, Me too. We're, 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 we'll take all ideas, and, and some of them might help us here at Ben Salem. Everybody has good ideas, and uh, if sometimes they come to fruition. Sometimes they don't, but we work on them, right? That's right. There's a couple other things. Casey Tomlinson, your state representative, is having a shredding event on Saturday, April 6th from 10 to 1, and everybody needs to get rid of their overloaded paperwork and this is an opportunity for you to do that uh, they will take your discardments per se in paper bags or cardboard card board boxes gosh. no plastic please and you know they basically take it right out of your car and away you go so it's easy peasy again Saturday April 1st from 10 to 1 and then we have what else do we have oh the street sweeping schedule that's out okay yeah you'll see them out there by the way, you'll see us cleaning what we call pork chops out on the highways where the lights are, you know, where you go around them. They call them pork chops. They're, the trash that people throw oh. out is just incredible. And, we're, and they're, they're state, but we're cleaning them. As I speak today, they're out there cleaning them. We need police to stop, you know, help traffic control. But we've got to keep the place clean, and we're trying everything humanly possible. We have, on the weekends, we got the kids going out to clean up, right? We have schedules on them every weekend now to go to all these different places. And as that, soon as the trash is picked up, it's back. That it's, it, it's, it's, it's just why? such a why? phenomenon why? to me. Why? I don't get it. I just don't get it. Well, I you, mean, people, and their moral just, compass. That I, I love what people just throw a whole McDonald's tray out the window. I don't know how they can live with themselves, but in any event, we have problem areas on a rotation basis. And if you if you do in a, a place that needs to be cleaned up, let us know. If if we don't know about it, just let us know, and we'll get people out there to clean it up. It's so important to keep this community clean. My goodness gracious, uh, it's a broken window theory. If you keep throwing it, and they say it, they keep throwing it the same place. Mm -hmm. uh, but we'll try to do a good job on that and, and keep up with it. And we really do the best we can. You know, we don't have a workforce of a thousand people here in Ben Salem Township, but we do the best we can with what we have. And I think, all in all, we do a pretty fantastic oh, job. Oh, I think the, our our men and women at work here do an incredible job. We really do. We we're very fortunate. Uh, 
without saying the best police force, fire the best firefighters, volunteers, and the pay guys, and certainly our EMS. Our EMS is second to none, and thank God. Uh, we're the only ones that have an ambulance for stroke. We're the only ones around that have a, an ambulance for stroke. So, uh, and that's important. If you, any kind of a sign that you feel is a stroke, you should call immediately. And that ambulance comes out because they can work from inside the ambulance till you get to a high. You save their, we save many lives, and uh, they do, the EMS. So uh, all of our safety people here do an incredible job, and uh, we're so lucky. We really are fortunate for the people that work in this township because they care. And uh, if you have anything else? I don't. That's going to be a wrap for us. Okay. Until next time, everybody, God bless. And take care, everybody.